Hello guys, once again, it's Matt and today we have another video. Thank you all the members, all the Patreons, make sure to subscribe and let's get into it, guys. So let's talk a little bit about the Battle Pass and its vehicles. A lot of people have been complaining for a long time and even me, myself, uh, that the vehicles are kind of, you know, they're kind of meh. They're not, not the most amazing thing ever. And to be honest, we've seen some very, like, weird vehicles being added. Uh, don't get me wrong, they are cool in general. But in my opinion, they seem not like good enough sometimes, or at least not high tier enough. Uh, don't get me wrong, not any, everything needs to be high tier, but at least one of the vehicles should be a rank 5 at least, or maybe even rank 6, right? I mean, come on, you are basically paying for working for a goal of having premium vehicles, right? You get a lot of stuff and generally... Uh, it, it's worth it to spend the Golden Eagles to actually buy the Battle Pass. But at the end of the day, I mean, we had a lot of just props, you know, different versions of aircraft that are already in the game, different versions of tanks that are already in the game, and even like very, like copy paste basically uh, ships, like for example, the mbc i think it was called or something like that the, the the italian ship that is based off of the e-boats of the germans right so it kind of becomes a problem that it's kind of not worth it i know a lot of people actually like these vehicles and they actually get them but the majority i think it i mean there is a lot of them that get a lot of the players but i i'm pretty sure that the majority of players don't actually do the battle pass and one of the main reasons uh, w probably will be the, the prices, right? The vehicles are just not worth to do all that work and plus the Golden Eagles that you need to expand, right? And I kind of agree. Uh, I got the first like two or three vehicles uh, in the first like aircraft in the first two or three battle passes. And then after that, I basically stopped doing it because the vehicles were not fun, to be honest. And that's a major thing that I think they need to focus on a little bit. Um, no, it's not a major problem, obviously. But if they want the Battle Pass to survive, I'm pretty sure that they need better prices. Uh, right now, you can see by the... Basically, maybe by the, 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 the stats of the videos that I do, right? The views that, I, uh, that he gets from a dev blog uh, for the Battle Pass. Basically, nobody cares about it, you know? Nobody watches these videos, and if you check other channels as well, it's kind of a trend. Nobody kind of cares about these vehicles, um, unless it's something really out of the ordinary, which normally it isn't. Um, it seems that these vehicles just stay behind a little bit. And I'd like to introduce one example of a vehicle that I would like to see. Uh, it doesn't need to be this vehicle specifically, but something along these lines, this will be basically an example of an aircraft uh, that can be added. But um, think about tanks, think about ships that can be added as well. Uh, but the first thing would be to add a rank 5 or a rank 6 aircraft in that sense that I'm proposing an aircraft, right? And the aircraft that I wanted to talk about is the Su-11. It's an aircraft that is basically based off of the Su-7 was basically developed together with the Su-7 as the Su-9, you know. It's an interceptor. It doesn't have an internal cannon. Uh, it actually, in real life, in theory, it could use one. I mean, there is stories about one specific uh, model that actually used the gun pot. So um, it, it could, in theory, get the Grisha um, 23mm, right? The guns of the MiG-21, for example. And together with that, it has the Delta Wing of the Su-9, you know, so basically it's like the Su-7, very similar to the Su-7, like BKL, but with a Delta Wing design. And on the wings, it can carry two missiles, the R-98s, a missile that it's probably similar to something like the M9D or even the M9E, right? Um, 20 plus kilometers of range, but I mean, really, really good range would be around 15 max. Uh, with the Oriol Raider, a Raider that Oriol, I don't know how it's pronounced, uh, basically Eagle in English, right? Um, a Raider that has a very limited range, but um, around 35, 40, 45 kilometers, depending on the size of the target. And basically with these two missiles, uh, including one IR version of these R-98 and the gun pod, 
it would be a very limited aircraft for the meta, right? It would be like a 9.3, 9.7, something like that max. And it would be very, very limited. You know, it has not a lot of ammo. It can take the gun pod, but it's not like a superior gun pod. It is still kind of limited. And the missiles are very limited as, as well. So it's an aircraft that it's kind of bad. You know, it's an aircraft that it wouldn't be meta, but it's an aircraft that it is interesting. It's an SU-7 that it's an interceptor. So it has crazy good performance, a better engine than the original SU-9s and stuff, the better radar, everything like that, a different missile that we didn't see in the game yet. You know, it's an early 60s design that it would be very similar to something like the MiG-21 F-13, an aircraft that is quite bad, to be honest. It would be better than that, but still, it's an aircraft that it's hard to play. But it's very interesting, right? It's like the PFM. It's aircraft like this, you know. It's aircraft that maybe not a lot of people would like to see it, but it at least is more interesting and has more of a rich history than the vehicles that we are currently seeing, right? Uh, and the major point would be that it's an interceptor that doesn't have a place in the normal tech tree as the as a, a normal meta aircraft, right, or something like that. It's an aircraft that not a lot of people. Uh, would even imagine to get, you know, or something like that. But, you know, any example could be added right here of this type of aircraft. Aircraft that are not quite ready or that it doesn't have a proper meta to be added in the tech tree. It wouldn't be good enough to be added as a premium or it's not um, cool enough to actually be added as a event vehicle for the bigger events like the crafting events and the summer and winter events which are way more, uh, you know, it, it requires a lot more work on it normally, right? Uh, these aircraft would be like maybe even a premium to help players. You cannot buy the aircraft, only get it uh, by then, by the, the, the battle pass. So it would make it for a very interesting aircraft. It's not meta, as I said, for being tech tree, but not good enough for being a premium. So a battle pass aircraft would be interesting to see that. And you can see many types of tanks being added like this, many types of um, aircraft for the other nations. We have the Deltas, for example, the Delta Dart and the Delta Dagger, for example, two aircraft that are very probably limited to the meta itself, but it would be a very interesting aircraft. Uh, but the major thing would be to get away from the props because the props that we are having right now they are normally the same thing as the, the props that we see in the normal tech tree. Like it's it's too of a copy paste or not good enough to have even be worth it, right? It helps. I mean, normally some of them are premium so that you can actually research the tech trees and stuff. But it's not, it's just not good enough in my opinion. And they need to get this thing like going because if not, the battle pass will have less and less um, attention until actually almost nobody does it, which is kind of what's happening right now, right? So anyway, let me know in the comments what you think about this, if we need better battle pass aircraft or at least higher tiers of battle passes to be more worth it. Um, premiums, you know, high tiers like six, five, six, you know, tiers like that to actually help you grind the nations with different vehicles. And what examples would you like to include on that? Um, I said some that I would like to see it, but there's so many out there that, um, of course, it would be very cool to see many of these. Uh, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe and let me know in the comments. Bye, guys. See you.